TJ Lanning. Um, I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, born and raised there. Uh, my family's actually from Athens, Ohio. So my mom, it was my mom's side of the family is from there. Um, you know, uh, you know, my grandma lives up there and that's who we would go and visit. So he actually took me to my first ever uh, Copperheads game. You know, he's a very well-known uh, name in the town of Athens. He worked at the old Baker Center for 40 years and retired from working there. So he actually took me to my first Copperheads game. And ever since then, I wanted to either play for them or have the opportunity to coach, you know, been coaching baseball for college baseball for the last three years. I've coached at a small uh, national Christian college uh, two years ago. It was called Tacoa Falls College. Um, and then I'm going on to my second year here as the assistant uh, coach and recruiting coordinator for uh, all the vet Nazarene university. So yeah, from Jacksonville, Florida, I've been playing baseball all my life. Um, all right. Um, Let's go back to playing career. So uh, how long did you play baseball? Where did you play at? And what position did you play? Oh, let's see. I think I started playing baseball at the age of five or six. I was actually a late baseball player to go – or late kid to start playing. So I actually never played the T-ball or nothing like that. The lowest level I actually went in to, like, kid pitch whenever that started. So I jumped a few levels when I first started playing. Uh, played – all the way up through college and everything. Uh, I played at a small college down in Florida, uh, played NAIA ball at Trinity Baptist College, and then uh, just transferred my senior year up to Toccoa Falls College, which is another NAIA in Georgia. So, yeah, that's pretty much my playing career. And then I played – I was a utility player, so I played every position. The only one I never played in college was catcher. You know, I never caught a single game, but I ended up – my freshman year as a pitcher slash third baseman kind of blew out my arm a little bit. I was a, I came in as a freshman throwing 91. I was our starting third baseman. Uh, and then I'd come in in tight situations when it was a close game or a closing situation. And the only pitch I had was a fastball. So I got up there and just tried to throw as hard as I could every time and ended up having shoulder problems. Um, so I kind of, led me to become a DH my sophomore year and then first baseman, so I didn't have to throw at all. And then my junior year, I ended up playing left field and right field just because I got my arm back up to the strength it was my freshman year and then ended my playing career playing right field. Going to uh, your coaching career, you said you've coached college baseball for multiple years. Uh, how would you define your coaching style? Are you more – intensive or are you more uh as a passive baseball coach no I mean more passive I mean my biggest thing is the relationship um you know I'm more of a relationships kind of slash influence kind of coach you know I'm not that coach that's going to sit there and scream down your throat um you know I played collegiate summer ball and that is that was the most fun I've ever played had playing baseball you know um, uh, my summer ball coaches, they were more laid back and relaxed and let us do mostly our own thing, but had the authority to tell you what you did wrong. But and it was more of an influence kind of role. So I would like to say my coaching style is more of an influence kind of relationship kind of guy. You know, after coaching at two, well, coaching at my second uh, Christian college now, um, you got to have the relationships, you know, I mean, winning is important, but uh, showing people who God and being a good human being is more important than winning a baseball game to us. So we like to build relations and relationships and just be an influence to the kids in their lives. Now, Athens baseball, as you may be well aware, it's a pretty big baseball town, especially during the summer. What do you hope to bring back to this, com this baseball loving community? You know, obviously a championship, you know, that's our, everyone's number one thing is a championship. Um, no, I mean, like I said, I grew up in Athens, you know, I'm, my family's from there. That's where I'd spend most of my summers anyways. You know, I hope to bring a fun filled summer of exciting baseball, you know, uh, who doesn't love baseball and the Cheds baseball, you know, uh, but no, just looking to bring a fun filled summer of good baseball to the community. I mean, obviously you are a college coach, but it's important to have that connection with other coaches, not only like division two, but uh, Mac, Ohio, you got Bowling Green and also a power five. 
how do you feel you have with those relationships with a bunch of different coaches around the region? No, I mean, I feel good. I mean, I just got off the phone with the University of Cincinnati's coach uh, just a few minutes ago. Uh, I mean, I have coaches reaching out to me left and right. I just found out the four players that we're actually going to have from OU playing. Um, got a few kids I just got committed today from the University of Kansas that's actually going to come play for us. Um, I got to call the University of Georgia back. Um, so, no, I definitely have a huge connection base out there with the, some D, good D1 schools. Been named the coach like a week, but uh, do you have any assistants you have in mind yet? So, yes, I actually uh, – my assistant coach my senior year who uh, coached me uh, in, at Toccoa Falls College, he's actually going to come up and help, help us uh, – help me out. Um, his name's Archie Wanamaker. He is the uh, assistant coach at a D2 in Georgia called Shorter University. So he's the pitching coach there, and he's going to come up and be my assistant this year. So I'm looking to hire one more guy as well, though. I'd like to have three. So I'm probably going to uh, reach out to Coach Smith and see if anyone from OU would like to be on coaching staff during the summer from there and build that relationship with them. Spoke with Coach Dunphy. Uh, obviously, he's – he had a pretty good season with the Copperheads. He's pretty well – he's well-known in throughout the Copperheads' history. What – was there any key thing that Coach Dunphy told you as you prepare for this next step to join the Copperheads? He just told me to have fun, enjoy it, live in the moment, you know. Um, you don't know when this game is going to be taken away from you, you know. Um, he said, go out there and coach it like it's your last game every day. Um he just told me that it's going to be fun. The fans are nice, and there's a lot of fans at every game, and it's going to get rowdy, and you're going to be playing against some tough competition and just pretty much have fun out there. Do you know uh, of any, I mean, players that were supposed to play in 2020, have you reached out to any of them yet, or have they reached out to you saying, you know, I want to come back next summer and actually play on the baseball field, hopefully? For sure. The University of Cincinnati, I guess they were supposed to have a few guys uh, come play this past summer, but uh, their kids are going to come back and play for us. Um, I want to say Kennesaw State, we had a few guys that were supposed to come and play for us this past summer. Uh, that kid's going to come back and play for us. Up, a young man I sent up uh, a few years ago named Micah Craighauser. He, uh, he's actually going to come back and play. He's at the University of South Carolina, Beaufort. So I coached him back at Tacoa, so he's going to come back and play. So there's guys that didn't get to play this past summer are definitely going to come back and play. you have a favorite Major League Baseball team? I do. I, the Cincinnati Reds and the Texas Rangers. Favorite player in the game right now, Major Leagues? Uh, Daniel Murphy. Um, I went to the same high school as him, and I was actually the first guy to sign a uh, – collegiate scholarship since he came out of the high school in 99. So Daniel Murphy. Getting even goofier. So uh, we have one Facebook question from Trevor Patton. Would you rather fight 100 duck sized elephants or one elephant sized duck and why? A hundred duck sized elephants. Um, so my family's big in the hunting and the only thing we do not hunt is ducks. So I love ducks. Uh, you'll in my truck and my family's vehicles. We all have duck be uh, beanie babies in our windshield, and so I love ducks. So I could not hurt a duck. All right, interesting take there. You think is a hot dog a sandwich or not? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a great question. I don't know. I love hot dogs. Uh, I eat them almost every night. Um, I would say it's not a sandwich, um, but my favorite hot dog place is Larry's Doghouse, though. If you were able to take the Cheds to any major league ballpark to play a game, which one would it be? It would probably have to be New York, uh, you know, just how historical it is. Uh, probably New York. I mean, when I played in New York, our field dimensions were set up just like the, uh, the Yankee Stadium, and it looked it was like a replica of it, so – I think it's a pretty cool stadium and would love to play there one day. I mean, a lot of greats have came there, come out of there. So probably New York. What would you say is your favorite experience or your most notable experience as a player? Oh, now I got to think back. Uh, you know, I think it would be I ended up robbing 
a home run. I mean, so our fence at Tacoa uh, Falls College is this old wooden fence that was not nice when you would run into it. So um, playing right field, there was a ball hit in the gap. We were playing Point University, ended up running, robbing it, catching it, crashing it into the fence and dislocated my shoulder and everything and had to have my buddy pop it back into place right then and there and just walked right off the field. I thought that was a pretty cool moment, but it also hurt as well. What would you say your favorite movie is? You know, it would be Ladder 49. Um, my cousin's a huge firefighter, and we have, he's a paramedic and everything, and I've just always fell in love with firefighters and their movies. Uh, very sad movie, movie, but it is my favorite, favorite movie. Yeah, like what's your message to Chad's fans as you prepare for 2021? Just be ready to have a fun-filled, exciting baseball summer. Um, we're going to bring back a championship to the city of Athens. I definitely believe in that um, and for years to come. So just be ready. We're going to do a lot of local community outreach stuff, and we're going to bring a, bring a championship back.